Hello, my name is Minna Anahu and I'm a Specialist Advisory Teacher from Greenwich Autism Outreach Service. My name is Sophia Ricketts and I'm the Team Leader for the Tribunal and Compliance Team in the SEND Assessment and Review Service. The sensory experience of autistic children may be extensive and include one or all of these eight senses. Sight, sound, taste, touch, smell, proprioception, that is the awareness of body position and movement, balance, vestibular system, and interoceptive, that is the awareness of internal body cues and sensations. An autistic child or young person might experience difficulties with becoming over or under sensitive to specific sounds, smells, tastes, textures or the environment around them, such as bright or flashing lights. Feeling comfortable in situations that have certain sensory components or aspects. An autistic child or young person may require some support because they might find it difficult to manage busy atmospheres such as busy secondary schools during times of transition. They might find it difficult to manage the smells and sounds typically encountered in different environments such as the lunch hall, playground or different shops such as grocery stores or butchers. They might find it difficult to wear specific clothing because of how it feels in terms of sensory sensitivities. They might suddenly have a strong desire for a certain kind of sensory feeling and this might become a preoccupation for them. They may even engage in a lot of sensory exploration, including mouthing objects, and this behaviour might be sustained, making it difficult to move on. Alternatively, it may be that an autistic child does not want to engage in different specific activities because of sensory issues. An example of this may be not wanting to do messy play. They might find certain forms of sensory input, such as noise or lights, overwhelming, and so avoid or become distressed in such situations. An example of this may be having their hair cut. An autistic child might have trouble with detecting and or processing feelings associated with physical pain. In these circumstances, the child may require additional supervision or support to keep them safe or to notice and respond when they may in be injured. Some children or young people find it helpful to use headphones, sunglasses or true aids to manage different environments. Some children or young people might require some parts of their school uniform to be adapted to help them manage the feel of this. Some children or young people benefit from gradual sensory exposure to help them to develop ability to tolerate different environments. Always remember their limits and leave them with positive memories before a situation can become too much. It may be beneficial to consider sensory circuits and movement breaks as part of the daily routine. It may be helpful to seek our specialist advice to understand the child's sensory profile, for example, that offered by an occupational therapist. Find autistic friendly places, cinemas, soft play areas, library sessions, this also helps in building interactions. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.